All right, so I want to make a video about mountain biking with folding bikes. And when you talk about folding bikes, there are different types, 16 inch wheel, 20 inch wheel, 24 and 26. For the purposes of this video, we're going to focus on 20 inch wheel folding bikes. Why? Well, because they're the top selling folding bikes in the world. Um, yeah, 26 inch folding bikes, they have very small market share, 24 inch of tiny market share. 16, I, I think, are more competitive than the others, but it's still, it dwarfs in comparison. So if we're going to talk about folding bikes and mountain biking, the folding bikes that would make sense would be the 20 inch wheel. All right. So got it. So we're going to talk about, you know, riding these folding bikes on trails. And customers ask me all the time, hey, can, can I do that? And, you know, I, I tell them, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't, you know, it's not a good idea, right? And I, I really do, I, I say you can't, um, but you can, right? And so that's what this video is about. Like, how, how would you do it? And what, you know, why, what, what are the risks? Um, the deal is that these folding bikes with small wheels, when they hit a big obstacle, like a big rock, a boulder, what they're gonna do, they're, the front wheel is gonna stop on a dime and just throw you right off the bike. So you're gonna do a header somewhere, God only knows where. It's actually very dangerous, you know what I mean? So nobody needs that nonsense. So that, that, that's a really high risk. In addition, if you hit a big hole, you, the wheel will go in and it'll stop in the hole and throw you off as well, you know? So you have both, you have both dynamics of obstacles one is when you enter and, and the other one is just you know just a, i guess a straight obstacle um so yeah riding off-road can, can be extremely dangerous because if you're you're going if you're being thrown off your bike head first usually doesn't end too well i actually had that happen when i was young once i had a really bad concussion busted up my shoulder like ridiculously bad broke my helmet and I was in shock for God only knows how long. It, it, was a, it was a very traumatic situation. It was not on a folding bike with small wheels. It was on a big bike, but I was going really fast. <laughs> I was going crazy fast. And so, and that was, that was bad. All right. So how do you mitigate these forces of being thrown off your bike? It turns out it's not that hard, but you, you can't relax. See, that's the thing. Mountain biking or biking, it's really nice to just go and relax. You know, you can't do that. Not on a folder. Um, the deal is you have to be really light on your butt. So your butt has to be artificially further back on the saddle and not much weight on your butt. Okay. Why? Because if you're going to hit an obstacle, you got to take your butt and put it behind the saddle. So behind the saddle and down, you know, so it, it goes down a little bit too. What that does is it, it changes center of gravity, so you, you can't get thrown. Worst case scenario, the rear tire is going to hit you in the butt and then go back down. <laughs> it's not, you're not going to get thrown off, you know, um, you're, because the rider is generally too heavy for the rear wheel to, to do anything in, in that capacity. So, yeah, the deal is when, when you hit these obstacles, you have to be really, really light on your butt. So you can't be sitting like you normally sit when you're riding. And, you know, like I like to putz around. I'm older now. So, you know, can't do that when you're mountain biking. You got to be on edge. But it is doable. I've taken our bikes on crazy, treacherous, real mountain biking track, like single track and just dangerous stuff. Single track is usually not bad. But I, I've taken in all kinds of nonsense and I've, I've actually been successful, you know, but I do understand that most people would not. So I, I definitely, you know, if somebody asked me, can I do it? The answer is no. But now I'm giving a more, you know, encapsulating answer, defining why the answer is no. And actually, if you are an exceptional individual, the answer might be a maybe, you know what I mean? It's not a yes. I'm never going to say yes, but we can turn it into a maybe. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to do it, you know, it's a maybe. All right. Thank you very much for watching. Appreciate it.